So both of these shoes are pretty nice. I do like the materials and it being a recycled material is also a bonus. But at least 20% recycled content in <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Sustainable Scopes. Today we have the Air Force One Move to Zero. This pair is in sea glass, sea glass black. And this pair is in, the camera can focus, black, black, neutral olive. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to pre the box a very interesting box in that natural brown cardboard and looks like a chlorophyll green. And if you notice closely, um, there's a little um, cut out of a swoosh, but around that there is perforations. And these perforations are quite interesting. Taking a look inside the box, you'll see that we have some brown paper. So on the paper, it has instructions how to make a vase or plant pot or pencil holder out of this shoe box, which is really, really interesting. Again, looking at other ways to reuse from this Move to Zero pack. We shall start with the sea glass pair. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah yeah, purchase links for these and the black pair in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot of both pairs. So yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have a black outsole. We have a black midsole, midsole stitch, Nike Air and Strip. And this midsole also has some white speckling to it. And then we come to this upper. So this upper is a tonal upper. It's made of a recycled mesh um, other than the swoosh. And if we start from around the toe, you'll see this mesh around the toe and on the toe box, both in that sea glass color. It's a nice hue, it's a nice color. It's like a sort of greenish color, slightly veering away from white. Going up the shoe, you'll see the same material on the eye stay and the eyelets are embroidered in that sea glass color. At the base, you'll also find a mini swoosh printed there. Above this, we have some sea glass laces to the thickness that I like. These conceal a sea glass ripstop tongue and at the top of this tongue, we've got a sea glass tongue tab with green for the Nike Air. You'll also notice that at the top of the tongue on the hem, it is embroidered with green as well. Very, very nice. The mid portion is the same as the rest of the upper and then we come to the swoosh. So the swoosh is sea glass as well, but it's a sort of utility material right here. It's not a leather, it's a rough textured material. The foxing reverts back to the norm and then we come to the heel of the shoe, which has that same material as the swoosh with tonal elements for that Nike Air. The sock liner is also tonal in that sea glass color. And then we've got brown for the insole with a plant pot and a pinwheel on either shoe. Let me know what you think of this pair. Not bad, not bad. Let's check out the other one. So identical box, um, paper as well. You can do the same thing with this one, um, making a little plant pot or pencil holder. Let's start from the soles up. So we have an olive outsole. We have an olive speckled midsole, midsole stitch, Nike Air and Strip. And then we come to this upper. So for this upper, we've got black mesh mainly. And if we start from around the toe, you'll see that we've got that black mesh around the toe and on the toe box. Very nice hue, nice dark color, and it's got that sort of shininess to it due to the nature of the material. Going up the shoe, you'll see the same material on the eye stay. And again, we have those embroidered eyelets. And at the base, we've got a mini swoosh again in black. Above this, black laces to the thickness that I like. These black laces conceal a black mesh tongue. And at the top of this tongue, you'll see that we've got black tab and we've got green for the detailing of the Nike Air. Again, we have some green stitching around the hem of that tongue. The mid portion is the same as the rest of the upper and then we come to the swoosh, which again is a textured material, not quite a leather, um, again in black. The foxing is black mesh and then we come to the heel of the shoe where we've got that swoosh material on the heel and we've got a black tonal detailing for the Nike Air. 
more black goodness for the sock liner and then for the insole we have brown with the pinwheel again and the hand and plant detail for the other foot. Let me know what you think of this pair. Very interesting color blocking with the midsole again. So both of these shoes are pretty nice. I do like the materials, really do feel nice. And it being a recycled material is also a bonus. This is a move to zero shoe. So at least 20% um, recycled content in these Air Forces. As I said before, I do like the materials. I like the color blocking as well, that light um, to dark and that dark too an odd green on the black pair. I think both work well. My favorite elements are the little bit of stitching that's around the hem of the tongues on both of them. I really do think that's cool. Let's take a look at the laces. So on both pairs, we have tonal laces, um, which are very, very cool. The best part of the laces are the aglets. As you can see on both pairs, we've got that green re-emerge again, which was on the tongue that is on the aglets which is really really cool i think that works so so nicely just a drop of color you don't see that green anywhere else just on the tongue and on the lace that's it you could swap out the laces to something else maybe something to go with this olive it would work or maybe something to go with this black midsole i don't think that works as well on this pair go with if you want to do a lace swap maybe do something with this one I like the way the laces are on this. But as I said, the ones that are in there are perfect already. If you want to do a lace swap, you can do, but you'll have to dig out a pair from your lace box as there are no extra laces that come with these. These shoes fit like normal Air Forces. Compared to other shoes, go down half a size. Let's check these out on feet. With all that being said, two decent pairs in my opinion. That's why I give these a 7.5 and a 7.5. My personal preference is the black pair. I don't know what it is about the, the nice sheen of the material. I just really like it um, and that's my preference. The sea glass pair is pretty cool. It's nice that it's 
slightly off-white off-white in the green sense really nice um, i think you'll enjoy both pairs remember purchase links for both and more move to zero stuff including nike's efforts with sustainability in the description let me know which pair you prefer in the comments below check out this review right here another sustainable pair i've been scopes signing out see ya